All right. Here's the problem. On your clip that goes to the camera, you notice the top and the bottom are pretty thick. But the side is thin. It cracks and breaks there, and you're in trouble. So, here's where I tried to make a repair with some vinyl adhesive super glue at the Dollar Tree. I tried wrapping the top and the bottom with a small piece of aluminum. It's a uh, aluminum flashing that they use on roofs and also have a uh, fiber washer to try and add some strength to that joint even after it dried it seemed like a weak fix and here we can see that the screw that holds it together, which is the bottom screw here, it's only one eighth of an inch long. In my junk drawer, the smallest screw I have is this one here, twice the size. So when you try to screw it into the, the bigger screw, into the clip, you bugger up the hole, so now your clip is no good. So, we need to try another alternative, something I discovered afterward. You have these uh, plastic credit cards, and these could be uh, uh, gift cards that are expired, or this here is from junk mail, and what you do if you cut a one and a half inch strip by half inch and we're going to try and duplicate this clip. We'll move all this out of the way. Get our wonderful equipment here. Put two nails in a board. about the height because the camera has a has a notch on the top and the bottom and that's what the claws are going to be digging into so we're going to try and replicate that so you have two nails about the height of the camera you want it to curve around two little blocks of wood cigarette lighter and we're going to heat it up and we're going to curve it around the nail so here we go top bottom again let it lay flat press this here against there then try and bring that around and you only get about half of it So, we'll try and heat it up again, top, bottom, try and lay it flat, get the wood to hold it flat against the nails, bring it on around, let it come out a little bit, and then bring it back, we're trying to get it to be half a circle on the top. And I didn't quite make it. It's a little bit short. So we'll have to heat it up again and being a little bit farther around. If we can get it right this time, we'll try pinching it first and then straightening it out. Oop. Cool too quick. A little bit longer heat. Don't want to set it on fire. Bring it around, pinch it, straighten it out, hold for about the count of three. Yeah, a little bit too big. 
We'll see what we get though. I'll go ahead and try and get the other side. Heat it up. Both sides so it'll bend easy. Bring it up. Bring it around. Try and get it all the way around. Wait three seconds. Yeah, it's just about good enough. So now you'll see looks like that's a little bit too tall. He clips on. Drilled a hole there. If I wouldn't have messed up my clipper, I could have screwed it right in there. But I tried to fix it with a larger screw and I buggered that up. But we have an option and it's a pretty good fit. See, I can push another card in there and that holds pretty good. So we need to consider what else to do to solve this here. Our clip is bad, so that's what we're after next is what can we attach this clip to and worst choice a clothespin second choice like ID badges these metal clips some of them have a hole you know that seemed like that might be a possibility but it actually kind of didn't work out then you have uh, here you have a clip, got enough material to drill a hole, and uh, what I liked about this here is you cut off, this here is a flashlight from Dollar Tree. If you cut off down here, you now have a pivoting ball, which adds a lot of possibility because it doesn't always really sit flat on your clothes when you wear the uh, camera. And another one, this is a dollar, a Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. And here's another possibility from Dollar Tree. This is a uh, a uh, pad lens. And here you have a nice sturdy clip. And also, really nice, the lens just unscrews right out of there. So that's really great. So you can attach, figure out how you're going to attach the camera. Then, out of the blue, I came up with an idea of get the clip off putting a magnet on the clip now this gives me a lot of possibilities at first I was really junky and I tried uh, this here's plumber's wrap you get in the hardware store it's used to hang pipes from the ceiling and it's very magnetic and it sticks on there really good and this magnet came off a closet light that has a magnetic switch and these uh like i know i'm a butcher of the name when i try to say it these uh, magnets are really strong for their size and the name of the magnet and you can probably get them at American Scientific Surplus is Neodymium Magnet and they sell the small ones there and the uh, magnets are really pretty pretty strong to where here's one on its edge and it picks up Three ounce can of uh, of of uh, supposed or yeah three ounces pretty easily just on its edge and so when you have the flat surface down like I have it on the clip here it's going to have a little bit stronger grip. Oop, get that over there. But since I've done that, I've decided to improve and put two of these magnets if you line them up properly. This here is a 9 ounce can, you get it in the right center, 
it will pick up that. So that'll give a really strong hold. Then, what made it even more greater is here you have this here clip to where the uh, the lens clip to where that came out. I glued a washer in the bottom of that recess. And the magnet fits right inside of there. So I have my camera back. And I I love this camera. It's exactly what I've been trying to jerry-rig. Because I'm a senior citizen and I walk a, walk the street uh, for an hour every day for exercise. And you walk a street every day for a year. You'll have some strange people approaching you for some strange reasons. So this here helped me just what I need to provide video information for the police officer when I complain. So that's what I come up with. And, uh, and besides this here, I also come up with a smaller version of the plumbing strap to where this here fits inside my shirt collar with me facing that way that goes in the shirt collar and then the camera will go in there and it'll be pointing forward so it really opens up some possibility and and uh, the metal that you choose it doesn't have to really be thick but the metal you choose the magnetic qualities of it will help you. This here is, these here come in uh, eight foot lengths and they're corner edging for uh, plastering walls. And as thin as that is, it has higher magnetic pro properties than, than some of the other stuff does. So that, that would really hold really well. And also in the hardware department or the, uh, Home improvement store you have these here metal braces for nailing braces together making braces that opens up a lot of possibilities here's twice the thickness of this and it has stronger magnetic properties where that really works out great and if you're lucky in the home improvement store they have these for uh, countertops this here uh, trim for countertops and it's I tried looking it up I think it's called a u-channel and that's what this is to where I didn't have to bend a, a card to make this here this here was the exact perfect size to make my back brace so uh, I tried looking in the store and they don't seem to sell these anymore so uh, if you have some scrap left from where you've done some work or if you know someone who does some work this will save you some time and effort because this works really perfect you just cut it to the half inch uh, width that you need and it like I say it just clips right on there but I'm going to go to two of them to make this here to uh, kind of hard to magnet there. <laughs> gonna go with two of them to make to, <laughs> too wide to make that an even stronger grip so it doesn't accidentally get knocked off and fall off but this using the magnet it really opens that up to possibilities to where this here is just what I've done in the first month is jerry rig these here metal pieces and this here one also it will slip onto the brim of your hat and so now you can have the camera underneath your hat. So rather than being on your body where you have a lousy aim, it'll be on your hat and wherever uh, underneath the brim. And wherever you look, that's where the camera will be pointing. It, uh, it, it's really a good idea. And anyone who has one of these here $30 cameras, that's what I had to pay for it. And would really like to try and get some use out of it. Uh, I think it's an excellent camera. Uh, once I get all the things organized and uh, later on I'll do a uh, review of it. But I find this here to be a fantastic camera with some surprising possibilities that uh, you might be interested in. 
But if you own one of these here, uh, TAC cams, it's, uh, it's really great. If you don't have one, uh, in uh, my town, they started selling them at uh, Menards for $29. It uh, took me a half an hour walking around the store, talking myself into buying it. But you can, and here's how you can overcome the weakness of this clip joint that's going to fail on you very quickly until you can find some way to, other way to mount it. But that's it.